it's the best time. It's story time again. So grab your friends and have a seat. Come on in, set a while, and uh, welcome to this uh, word of Allah, his command unto Islam. And uh, I hope that you will enjoy it. I'm putting on my glasses here because it's time for the whole world to shine with the resplendence of our Lord God, whom is Elohim, Adonai, our carpenter of the ages, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, one in love are they. And no more does anyone need to argue, was he divine, wasn't he divine? It doesn't matter according to the kingdom age covenant, it can be put to rest. People must now look at each other's commonalities instead of their differences. So beloved, uh, it, it's time that we get along in the sandbox. It's This is welcome to the game changer of the Lord God Almighty. And know this, it now brings forth through his inspiration of his revealed kingdom age word opening anew exactly as it is foretold in Daniel 12, 9 and in Habakkuk 2 uh, that it was written uh, plainly upon the tablet so they that readeth it and heareth it may run. The inspiration of love brings forth a word of solution for one and all. Uh, now the title Allah has been sanctified by our Prince of Peace, the Word of God, and it is now upgraded into a name of Allah, the true Lord of love. Uh, and his love is for one and all. He is the beneficent. He is the ever forgiving. Allah is the knowledge about knowledge. And he now declares, no man knows how bad he is until he tries very hard to be good. For that reason, do not judge anyone just because they sin differently from you. But let the wise also not be ignorant, for whoever sins is a slave to sin. I am Allah, the key of life, the open lock, and the all-powerful smith, uh, the one who sends the refiner fire of love. Uh, to repair the breach of love. And I am the one whose arms are not too short to set at liberty all those wanting freedom from their unlocked shame as I remove all of their disgrace upon the mountain here and at this channel, exactly as it is foretold in Isaiah 25. And this is the marriage supper of the Lamb. So know that Allah is the truest truth of truth when he is seen correctly as he is loved. There's never been any false God, just a false understanding of our God's love. And know that he is also the love of love, the peace of peace, the faith of faith, and the light of lights. He's our hero of heroes and our majesty of majesties and our icon of icons. He's all of the above. And blessed are they who will obey Allah by hearing the book of, of uh, uh, love lifted up herein. For they shall be empowered by his most blissful rushing winds of utter blissfulness. And then they shall shine and rest within the tranquil spirit of the Lord's most beautiful serenity and tranquil tranquility set aflame. And he shall rise up uh, over them on high as he assures them sweetly that his comforter wants them to stand on their feet in the height of uh, the Lord in front of his perfection and before his everlasting glory forevermore. For we are his angels, as the word of God said in John 10. And we are as gods, but there are no other gods, just his angels. Uh, then the obedient will overcome and conquer the spirit of lifelessness as they embrace everlasting life. Therefore shall those good servants experience the beauty of Holy Ghost shivers while adoring the dove's beautiful wings of faith, only existing to help everyone to grow deeper roots in their living hope. It's time for the Wild West to burn down the world and to, to whistle new songs. And I wish I could whistle. I'd whistle too. Hey, I'm not too bad. 
and know that the Lord's most exciting blessed euphoria shall then swiftly sweep them away, all the obedient, all of his faithful few uh, that obeys the voice of love whom he is. First John 4, 7, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, capital L. And, and uh, so come forth upon Jehovah's most marvelous winds of utter marvel for the rest of time, if you will ascend and unfold your wings and ascend to the great white cloud. It is the rapture time. Within a twinkling of an eye, within a moment of a moment, your heart may adjoin Christ upon that great white cloud, bringing his kingdom age word unto earth as he sinks his uh, everlasting sickle of his love into the earth. It is the the sword of the spirit transformed. He has beaten it into the instrument of his harvest because uh, he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his harvesters, uh, saith the Lord God, Amos 9. Uh, blessed therefore are all those rightly discerning and dividing between the spirits of truth and falsehood concerning this holy word of his latter-day truths that will be winning the war of Christ's divine charge to uh, the Great Commission, not of uh, convincing people that he is who he is, but letting their love overflow and explode within them. That is the great, uh, the great uh, uh, challenge uh, that all must go forth on. That is the Great Commission to inflame love wherever we go. And for it teaches that only those of truth are born out of the spirit of light and those of falsehood always comes forth from the devil's darkest well of darkness, Iblis, who has been put away for the next thousand years because the Lord's covenant says, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it, firing his ass uh, as the accuser of the brethren. Never again can he be. So arise, O sleepers of grace, and enter into the kingdom age. For all religious men are blind because they have been brainwashed by their own mindsets, which will have them cursing this dove due to the gross darkness they unknowingly bow down to. A new day of new vision has come. It is time for the great exodus out of the confusion uh, of uh, religiosity to bring forth a world of no more racism, a world with no more condemnation upon one upon another. It is time, the quickly coming time, when all of the prisoners shall be set free. New penal colonies shall arise, beautiful homes, and they shall own them, people. Woe, and they'll be built out of the most beautiful trash, uh, tires and bottles and cans and uh, whatever, uh, but they'll be made futuristic. And uh, anyone, I would be happy to own one of them. So woe when the spirit of ignorance enters the Lord's people and his doctrines and precepts are made void through corruption of such blinded men and women. That is the ultimate metaphoric abomination of desolation where we turn our heart of hearts into a, a, a place where love cannot reign, where all of our love is conditional upon one another. This is the, uh, uh, the former condition but the veil has been ripped so that we may become just like our everlasting Father, for we are the children of love, his mangels, and our glory is greater than that of the former fallen ones, and for we are fallen too, and that is why we shall judge them in the same measure and light that the Lord has given us total amnesty and pardon over our iniquity. Woe is, is the world when the light of love is hidden. Woe to the world is such if, if it is allowed to happen. Now, therefore, shall the Lord begin cursing all those within all places of worship, refusing this word of his blood-bought truths. Woe to those people. For the Lord says in Habakkuk 2 again, he says, If you do not exalt that which will exalt the unity of man and peace and, uh, and love among all people, I shall take the feast uh, shit from your banquets, and I shall come and I shall rub it into your faces, beloved. And know that for all those being indifferent and disobedient to Allah's spirit will end up with the blood of his martyrs upon his hand. And you by default will be standing in the 
the the uh, the line of morgue official the Jal, uh, because the life force of their brethren is being spilled all over the circle of our globe by terrorist extremists who are not walking in love and are not following Muhammad's teachings at all. They deceive themselves. And for this reason, our Lord of Evermore has finally given his faithful few a brand new weapon, a razor sharp sickle of love. And all those ignoring it shall not only find the Lord's swift rebuke, but an early grave as well. Karma will get you if you don't watch out. And karma is simply the, the law of sowing and reaping, beloved. So know that a new revelation of the Lord's most peaceful purposes have finally come forth in the order of the king. And these are the days of the restoration of the order of Melchizedek. And unto me, Armageddon.Owsley, gmail.com, somebody is going to send me a million dollars. E-transfer, Armageddon, A-R-M-A-G-E-D-D-O-N dot O-W-S-L-E-Y at gmail.com. And... Uh, Praise the Lord that somebody out there is going to obey the spirit of love. Uh, for I don't uh, belong selling. I'm a merchant, people. The merchant that you have been waiting for. Uh, I sell uh, meat and fish and shrimp door to door in a van down by the river uh, that's full of uh, uh, two freezers with meat in it. Uh, Thus saith our roaring lion of Zion unto his pride. That is the name of a, a family of lions. And he speaks to the house of Muhammad. And he speaks to the house of Christianity and to the house of Judaism. Behold, the judgment of abandonment shall be the hurtful position of those not obeying my great commission of love concerning this prophesied sickle of love of my spirit. For on the great day of judgment day of the banishment of darkened souls who commit blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, whose, whose light shall go out and they shall be judged. Uh, they judge themselves. <laughs> I am Allah the empathetic, the sympathetic, and the lover of all, who shall not have any respect for the rich nor pity for the poor if they refuse believing in the bountiful blessings that will now come unto all those sending out the scroll of my exaltation. And by this word of my overflowing mercy, terrorists can finally find even redemption from my water of love and life herein. A new day of jubilee has come forth. Let the music again ring out in the uh, in the mosques of this world with Muhammad's blessing. The day has come for the veil to be lowered. It is time to dance like King David danced. The day of jubilee of jubilee shall never end. The great celebration is on, and Lionel Richie is going to come and sing his party song. Uh, all through the night, praise the Lord. Neither shall there be any favoritism for those smart of mind who will obey me or feelings of sorrow for the dumb who is refusing to obey his servants, Daniel and Trudy, the two candlesticks of the Zechariah, the two olive trees whose videos that they are producing. Trudy does all the hard work, all the uh, Facebooking and Twittering. Uh, and it'll come to pass that these sickle uh, messengers of the I am the weeping uh, messenger of the weeping prophet Jeremiah foretold as the covenant messenger in Malachi 3 1 that prepares the own, Lord's own way by his very own word that has not been tainted and added to and changed to give an opposite meaning bringing condemnation where none was ever written for a good reason because none has ever been he is the all beneficent one and he is the most magnificent of all and now it's time uh, that we shall step forth and no more great woes have to uh, flow over shallow people who only have eyes for vengeance alone unless they won't open their eyes to the love that comes for on themselves sorrow would fall as they receive the, the Lord's most severe chastisements and reprimands. These are the days of the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3. Come to bring God's word of patience, Allah's word of patience to keep us from the hour of temptation, not to change 
because if we won't change, this world will not survive. But the wise will take hold of this word of his living fire so they can touch its flaming golden word uh, and be able to behold his mystery of mysteries unfolding as they learn all of the secrets of Revelation 10, 7, when it was foretold that the mystery of God would end. And now I, Daniel, the latter days Shiloh of Genesis 49, the end time Elijah of Malachi 4, 6, I say unto all the world, let God's elect not be found to be ignorant about our sinful ways, which abounds with evil from all people's fallen condition. So let all mankind understand that we're all full of shit, every single one of us. And we've all had some very bad breath at times. We're all just people. But what we are, people, are beloved of the Lord, for we are as gods, his gods, his angels. That's who we are, his angels. And know that germs, crud, and unmentionable constantly leaks out of all of our openings, whether it's snot or this or that. It don't matter. All men have had evil within. We're all good and we're all bad. And my soul might not be upright, but none of yours are either. And it's time to get real with ourselves, to call a, a spade a spade. We all lie, we all cheat, and still within our sinful heart, therein, even the most disciplined of people is still a sinner. There is no salvation except for dying, because God sees none of us as we are, but as we shall be totally sinless the moment of our passing into glory, where we can shine as the angels we were created to be. So praise the Lord uh, that all of those not walking with Esau, Yeshua, Jesus, uh, they, they have the guilt of much sin. And it's time to let that go. Upon this great mountain, God promises to remove all disgrace from all people of the world. So let all saints of love realize that as we walk with the light of love, we walk with the Spirit and are under no condemnation whatsoever. God is ending religion as it has been known. These are the days of the brotherhood of man from John Lennon Imagine. So let the saints now absorb the words of the book of Romans. For above all men, Paul was among the least, who always preached strongly that there is no good man. It therefore holds true that there's never been even one holy man other than Christ, uh, nor is there any man who can fully discern what holiness is. But I have defined it all for you, beloved, because the Lord has breathed upon me for that job. All men are full of doubts, double-minded, and guilty of breaking every commandment uh, in the Lord's good book. But it's never been about us and our stupid religion. It's always been only about his overflowing, transcendent love that overcomes even our most uh, stupid doctrines. And it's time to realize that nothing has ever separated any uh, anyone of love from him. And know that the mouths of the pious are as Pharisees. And the poison of defiled religion is far worse than a black widow's toxin. For such is hidden under their tongues. Their mouths are full of freaky delusions due to their embraced ignorance as they continually criticize others who they do not think like they do. Rebellion is therefore their pillow and stubbornness is their rule. It's time, therefore, for people to be challenged. Woe unto those speaking badly about anything they have no understanding of, for stupidity are the steps that all have tread upon. Neither has any man ever lived who has not been a fool within their minds. Some of us even murder within our thoughts, but praise Allah, uh, our revealed Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our Emmanuel, our uh, Adonai, Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over all of us. Know that uh, that we must praise him that most of us don't because we have rightly dis disciplined our uh, ourselves the wrong way all of our lives and it's time to turn around and exalt the Lord because in doing that it lifts up his light of love within us so we can ascend to the great white cloud where he's calling each and every one of us by our own names as if we were the only one for the wise who do not embrace evil manages 
to keep their own wretchedness away from reality as much as possible. But never does evil depart from any of us. For even though we don't act out our fantasies, such as just as wretched, if we're having those fantasies as the actual sins are, which we all souls continually commit, plus therefore all terrorists with the sweetest of prayers that they might repent. For all men have walked in the very same dark places where the light of the Son of God shines not at all. And within him alone we are new creatures in love, but we are still creatures, still animalistic, still evil at heart, and undisciplined men are only horny breeding machines. And for that reason the word of Allah, be fruitful and multiply, came pretty naturally and easily accomplished as we increased our number to become like the stars. So now is the time for the order of the light. This is it. Uh, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, gospel of man's wickedness that spotlights his constant uh, hypocrisy. We are all hypocrites, for all men have judged one another in spite of ignorance in most cases. So lift up this word of us coming together in the unity of man, which must arise for our very salvation, so that this world will not be taken away by the oblivion that is foretold as days as Noah, that would become literal if people will not allow their love light to expand and to explode within their chest to reflect Christ's truest truths. So let the obedient now send these words of these videos out into the world. Uh, for if you do not share this, then you are standing in the other line. So, and I need some help out here. Start giving me some comments. Start giving me some thumbs up. Start sharing these videos. Subscribe. Uh, send uh, $5, $10, $20 to show me you care. Only by action is your faith proven, people. Armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. I'm waiting for a million dollars from Islam. For this gospel of the dove is the end times word of God, and his message of Allah is unconditional love for one and all. It's time to raise up all of our feeble hands. The drought season is over, declares our living peace. For my living water is now uh, pouring forth as a mighty flood. A great tsunami of blessedness is coming, and a great outpouring of love upon all flesh, without exception. And for this cause, his two chosen uh, olive trees, his two candlesticks, uh, we are not the two witnesses of the end. Uh, they would still come if people will ignore us. But uh, we will try our best to teach everyone uh, not to be double-minded unless they, they want uh, judgment to fall. Uh, but it won't be Allah's judgment. It'll be judgment of us upon ourselves by being foolish enough to let our light of love go out. That is our eternal energy for our everlasting body. For we are the Lord's gods of uh, John 10. We are as God's angels are we. All the creation was groaning for the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God. We are the latter house of the hosts, and our glory shall be greater than that of the former. And the Lord God says, I am Allah, the judge of judges, the righteous and the honorable of all generations, and the desire of all nations. I alone am the justice, the lawgiver, and the commander, who now proclaims that everyone on earth should be aware of Trudy and Daniel's divinely given a kingdom age authority. We hold the scepter that has transferred in Genesis 49. Uh, it has now departed from Judah, and we hold it because we restore all things by Christ's own word. The great reset button 800 years earlier through the prophet Jeremiah. And know that most of those not embracing this ministry will suffer early deaths by the words forthcoming curses. So your life is in your own hand. Be foolish and ignore these words. And uh, you're, you're asking for our earth's own destruction. And the Lord says, and I shall honor their words by and by as they mature within me. And he's talking about me and my sister. And uh, so woe unto those coming against my uh, redwoods as petrified as Daniel and Trudy had, might have been in past times. We are, the, the Lord says, they are my lighthouses, my servants of dedication, and my two fervent ones that, that precede the two witnesses 
in the erasable future of the oblivion of earth and the Armageddon and the Antichrist, the erasable future. And we are the two uh, from Windsor, Ontario, from the north, Isaiah 41 as it accurately said, we are the two that has not put God into any box, nor have I or my sister Trudy uh, ever preached before. Uh, never, not a day in my life. I've never been to school for uh, anything. I've never, uh, but I've written 200 books, people. And it is time to realize. Uh, and the Lord says, for by my spirit, I have identified these two as my passionate warriors of love and new instruction uh, for those with hands do I now send forth. Uh, now a great storm comes forth upon the horizon, declares Daniel of Essex, the Lord's sickle prophet of love. For all men are most wretched at heart in spite of much hypocrisy. Therefore man is like a robot, easily manipulated and controlled by those planning satanic sneak attacks. Man is therefore uh, born to die so he can transform into the inner angel that he really is, says the Lord. And during life he experiences degrees of evil in order to grow. Never does evil ever lose its grip fully upon anyone until they come into the great beyond glory to glory and resplendence upon resplendence. And only through repentance alone are people really made uh, right by the word of God, uh, but uh, none can ever fully leave uh, their flesh behind until we pass into glory. And know that as some of the Lord's perfection comes unto us little by little, never should anyone ever for give up on that pursuit. Uh, we need to discipline ourselves. But let's face facts, people. Habakkuk 2, 4, King James was changed from a prophecy into but a proverb. In, in all the Bible translations other than King James and the Jewish Bible, because the translator wrongly believed that writers of God were somehow holy instead of not being upright uh, uh, as they uh, really were. And no one has been upright. Uh, except the Lord himself, who long ago prophesied that the just would live by my faith. Uh, Daniel 12, 7. And uh, the shattering of the power will now come, beloved.